Today I'm going to do a quick demonstration within Halo PSA on our automated triage process using AI. So most MSPs, if not all MSPs, will go through a triage process every time they receive a new support issue. So a support issue could get logged by email or over the phone, could also come through a self-service portal. But whenever there is an issue raised, typically, just like a hospital, we need to understand the priority of that issue. So how quickly does that particular issue need to be resolved and, or, and responded to? And that's generally based on the answer to two questions. How impactful on the business is it? Does it affect everybody in the business? Some, pe some people, a group of people in the business or just a single person? And also just general urgency. Is it low, medium or high urgency? Those should determine a priority and how quickly, in what order, the MSP goes through those support tickets. There's also an element in triage of categorizing a ticket. So what type of issue it is. And the reason for that is if you understand the type of issue, you can start to report on how many issues are you getting like that? Should we do some more work? Is training required? Can we make the process more efficient? It helps you to report on that, but it also helps you to distribute the issues to the right people. Again, just like a hospital, when you go for a triage process in hospital, it's so they can understand the priority of the problem that somebody's got. And also, what do you need? Do you need an x-ray? Do you need to go and see a specialist for um, your head or your eyes? So depending on what the issue is will depend on how, how you route it to the best skilled person within the team. That's the reason triage exists within MSPs. But the problem is it's quite a time consuming issue and it doesn't really add any value. Quite often the people that are doing it are just picking categories and they're picking priorities. They handle so many tickets, they become a bit blase about what they're doing. So you can often get mistakes. What we've done at Reformed now is we've completely automated that and using AI to help us to do it more efficient, like within seconds, and more accurate as well. So I want to do a quick demonstration of how we're doing this within Halo PSA, how we've automated it, so you can get a bit of a feel for that. So I'm just sharing my screen now. You see, I've got one ready. Normally we would choose a customer at this point, but I'm not revealing any customer information during this demo. Uh, I've got a subject line here. This could come in via email, and it basically just says help urgently required. Uh, we're doing this as a phone call, but this could equally be an email. And then the description is bright pay, spelled bright as a word and pay as a word, which I know isn't correct. Uh, isn't working for any of the accounts department, but we urgently need help to get pay slips out today. So this might be a typical scenario that an MSP would get from an accountant, uh, for example, uh, with a piece, piece of software not working. And we're just going to log this ticket and then what you'll see is we've opened a ticket. It's currently under this triage service level agreement because we need to establish the priority of this issue. So in the background, what's happening now is this information is being looked at by a private instance of OpenAI within Microsoft Azure. It's then come back and automatically within a few seconds, we've now got the ticket type as incident, which it is. It says impact multiple users affected. That's also correct because we're talking about the accounts department. We're not talking about the entire business. The urgency is high. That's very clear in the messaging. It, it, help is urgently required and that it's affecting things because of pay slips. So the urgency is high. Uh, the category, it's given as a category of applications, business applications, line of business application issue, which again is correct. And, um, and you can see there's also this estimated time to resolve, which is 19 minutes. Now that hasn't come from AI. It's come from our own data of how many issues we get of this particular category and how, how long it usually takes us to fix those particular issues. What you'll also see is that we retype using AI the subject line. So in the subject that may have come in by email, it just said help urgently required. That's not very good for our team to identify what's going on. In this case, it's rewritten it to bright pay failure affecting accounts, uh, urgent pay slips. So we've got more information and more readable information. You'll also notice that the banner up here changed from green to orange. It is now a high priority ticket because of the fact that we've got multiple users affected and the urgency is high. So it gives us a faster response time and puts it higher up the list of tickets requiring action. One other thing that we've done is, as well as the category, because 
line of business applications will get lots of tickets in that category, but it could be any application. So what we've done to expand on that is the AI also automatically uh, looks at any of the keywords that are linked to applications that we already work with. And you can see that Brightpay is incorrectly spelt, correctly spelt here, and the application tag says Brightpay as well. That just means from a reporting perspective, if we want to know how many issues we get with Brightpay, even though our category is quite vague, we can really drill into, uh, into that information. I've just realized that I'm covering that up with my face. Just to show you that bit on the right hand side, you can see that these the application tag uh, says Brightpay. So it's effectively picked up from the content of the ticket an application that we uh, that we would use. So that's how our automated triage works at Reformed IT using Halo PSA and OpenAI. Uh, we're not using any other automation tools. This is pure Halo Runbooks. The power in Halo Runbooks for automation is incredible. Uh, we, you know, we recommend to people that uh, about Halo PSA in general, and part of that is to utilize the capabilities within the Runbooks. Uh, I also, as well as Reformed IT, I also have a business called MSP Blueprint. We help other MSPs to implement Halo PSA, and we also help with the advanced stuff like these automations. We can automate almost anything that you need to do, and, um, and it provides so much efficiency back into the MSP um, because instead of a person sitting there kind of manually going through all these tickets and categorizing them, we're doing it automatically in seconds and distributing the right information to each technician. Hopefully that's been useful. This is just purely to show you what is possible and how we're doing it. This is not a deep dive on how to do this, but I am going to do a video uh, on the YouTube channel, which will detail exactly how we've, we've done this. So hopefully that's been useful. Keep an eye on my future videos. Hope to see you again soon.